when I'm doing major recruiting, I want no less than 30 new resumes each week, mm -hmm. um, major. So this is for the staff count primarily. Um, so I'm having them review it. Okay, so review the info and, and look for these certain things. So I'm looking for customer service experience, um, tech savviness, um, you know, some people will even put like, you know, they were coding or whatever, you know, can they troubleshoot mm -hmm. software? Do they have any financial accounting or office management experience specifically as it relates to banking, accounting, or bookkeeping? And do they exhibit a tendency to stay at jobs for a long period? Or do they hop around? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then what we do is we have a board on Monday, um, or you could do an Excel doc, doesn't matter. And we basically track, mm -hmm. um, you know, every single step of the way, like, did they fill out the type form, which is the survey you were talking about? Did they submit their resume? Did they do a working interview? Like all the different steps. Like once we got their resume, we enter Monday and then we do a quick phone screen, quick five minutes, just like Amanda. Um, it really, here's the reason why we do that, you know, um, to see if actually I didn't put the um, objective on there, but the basic, are they just awkward? Can you have a conversation with them? Right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, if they haven't already done so, again, here's this, um, I use a survey um, platform um, that people can fill out. It's like an application. Um, and I basically told them, do not, do not waste my time. If they don't fill this form out, do not waste my time and book an appointment to, mm -hmm. to meet with me. Like I, I, if they can't even do that. So then um, Craig is my admin person. So he would schedule a more in-depth interview, ask mm -hmm. them standard questions. Like these are the standard questions that we ask. Mm -hmm. um, if they're successful in that, do a personality assessment. So we do um, team dimensions. So again, preferably they would be a flexor, maybe a refiner or an executor. I should probably put refiners, probably okay. Uh, refiners, okay. Um, specifically for the accounting, um, mm -hmm. right? So, and here's a list of it, um, and then add their profile to Monday. Okay, mm -hmm. so then we go down and um, schedule a working interview. So I have a working interview. Again, this is really messy, so I was embarrassed to show this to you guys. But then we do a working interview, mm -hmm. and we basically have all of these steps that we outline to see are they, and the test isn't really their accounting proficiency. It's more, can you work remote, troubleshoot, problem solve on your own without asking me a million questions and communicate the results because mm -hmm. I have them basically set up a new um, company in QuickBooks, enter like three transactions, run some reports, use Loom to record yourself mm -hmm. and send me both the financial statements and a video of you recording yourself all at the same time. So they have to figure mm -hmm. out how to set up a test company um, in QuickBooks, how to enter the transactions, run the reports, come up with some kind of script to not look like a fool, record themselves, show up presentable, don't t-shirts and wet hair, I've had that, mm -hmm. um, don't do that, and send it back and they have a three day uh, deadline. Mm -hmm. So can they do those things? And it's very simple, it would take you like two seconds to do it. Yeah. But it was amazing to me, half the people won't even finish it. First of mm -hmm. all, you'll never hear from them again. And the other half of the people, it's interesting. The, um, like I had one woman that said, oh, I'm a three out of three on nonprofit accounting. I'm a three out of three in QuickBooks. And she sent me multiple questions and finally said, I've already spent 12 hours on this. Um, and I'm like, you're not a three out of three though. Like <laughs> we're not in an environment where I can do that much training, right? <laughs> so that's why I do the working interview for staff accounts. If they successfully complete those. And again, sorry, my, hopefully you guys can hear the vacuum in the background. Um, so if they complete the working interview, the type one, that's the application and the team dimensions not complete. Again, don't waste my time. Don't, yeah. don't do that. If they successfully do that, here's a face-to-face -face question. And here's the standard of questions, the list of questions. Mm, okay. So this is what we're getting at. This is what you really wanted to know. But then, um, then I go on to kind of outline the, um, you know, I, I wanted to do every single possible um, step in the process. Um, and I want to get standardization. So we're asking the same questions to be fair yeah. to all of the applicants. Okay. So here is my list of staff interview questions um, that ranges from, you know, how would you describe my company in an elevator pitch? Or, you know, of course, why do you want this job? You know, more about their personality. Because again, I've already kind of tested a little bit of their yeah. um, tech savviness, which is important when you're remote. But then some of the questions, you know, I would want to make sure 
that I'm adding to, uh, and I don't know if I have enough on here. I probably would add more technical accounting questions, mm -hmm. like um, explain to me how balance sheet and income statement work together, um, or you know, simple ones like, you know, what happens if you purchase um, a piece of equipment? What mm -hmm. impact does that have? Mm -hmm. Now, you may not necessarily expect that, and honestly, a lot of the people that I hire come from a very light technical account. They're bookkeepers. They enter transactions. My accounting manager that I just interviewed today, I mean, just railed them on the technical accounting questions, right? So these are more like personality, culture fit kind of questions, but I can drop those in the, in the Facebook group for you.